Top 11 Most Impressive World Heritage Sites A UNESCO World Heritage Site includes places that satisfy many criteria, such as masterpieces of human creativity or unique natural beauty. Every year, countless places are recognized as World Heritage Sites. Up to now, there have been more than a thousand heritage of outstanding cultural and natural value recognized by UNESCO. Let's join Tokibook Top 10 Amazing to list the most impressive UNESCO heritage to the articles below. 1. Relevagigado Archipelago, Mexico. The Relevagigado Archipelago consists of four volcanic islands located in the Pacific Ocean. Located about 390 kilometers southwest of Cabo San Lucas and 720 to, 90, to 970 kilometers west of Manazanillo, the island group is known for its incredibly unique ecosystem. It has been part of Manazino Calima State since 1861, but remains under the jurisdiction of the Federation of Mexico. The archipelago is known for its extremely unique ecology. This is home to many wildlife species such as whales, dolphins, or sharks. In particular, this is the habitat of many seabirds. According to the Worldwide Fund for Nature, the Relegigado Archipelago has 14 out of 16 areas that are considered important bird habitats with countless precious seabird species, especially the black seagulls and seagulls. The Relegigado Islands are recognized by Mexico as a National Biosphere Reserve and recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The town area of the archipelago is 157.81 km squared. South of the island of Socorro is a naval base with about 45 people, while a small naval base on Clarion Island has about 9 people. The islands are uninhabited. The islands are named after Don Juan Vicente de Gumes, 2nd Count of Rivigalguigo, 53rd Viceroy of New Spain. The archipelago is home to a wide variety of endemic flora and fauna, sometimes known as the Little Galapagos of Mexico. It is recognized as a special terrestrial ecoregion, part of the neotropical ecoregion. Socorro is home to the most diverse flora and fauna. On June 4, 1994, the government established the area as a National Biosphere Reserve. According to the Worldwide Fund for Nature, 14 out of 16 bird areas here are classified as an important bird area with many endemic seabird species. Notable among these are the black seagulls and other seagulls. 2. Kanchenjunga National Park, India Kanchenjunga National Park is in Sikkim in the north of India. It consists of valleys, lakes, rivers, primal forests, and spectacular high mountains. Kanchenzonga National Park is also a biosphere reserve, a large national park of India. This national park is now home to many rare and precious wildlife species, especially endangered species. Here are the temperate broadleaf and mixed forests with the appearance of oak, fir, birch, maple, and willow. In addition, there are shrubs, medicinal plants, and herbs. In terms of animals, the National Park is a remarkable place with the appearance of many rare animals such as snow leopards, Himalayan shorthorn mountain goats, musk deer, red wolf, piggy bear, Himalayan black bears, red pandas, civet, Tibetan wild ass, burl sheep, Himalayan chamos, tar, and some reptiles in like Russell's viper. A recent study shows that the Asian red fox is becoming very rare in the region. The wolves living the Kangjinzonga Biosphere Reserve are believed to belong to a rare and genetically distinct subspecies C. A. primaveus, Shift primaveus. Kangjinzonga is also home to 550 species of birds including pheasants, satyr pheasant, West Asian pheasant, owl, Himalayan vulture, bearded vulture, blue cuckoo, Tibetan snow chicken, snow doe, and eagles. The National Park is also home to great cultural values of the indigenous people of Sikkim. A large number of natural elements including caves, rivers, lakes, and mountains combined with myths are the objects of worship of the indigenous people. The meaning of the story combined with Buddhist beliefs is a spiritual element of the Sikkimese. 3. Philippi Archaeological Site, Greece In ancient time, the archaeological site of Philippi was once a large city built by King Philip II in 356 BC located on a particular important trade route connecting Europe with Asia. 
This ancient city of Philippi, located in eastern Macedonia and Thrace, can create quite a few different religious and civilizations, notably the Roman and Christian empires. The Philippi archaeological site has a theater, a mortuary temple, and a Roman hall. In AD 49-50, it became an important Catholic center of the region and the world. The first city of Philippi was called Dados. In 360 BC, the Greeks from the island of Thessos colonized it. They changed their name to Crenidines, which means many streams, due to the largest presence of springs in this area. It is also famous for its plains, as well as the Panagonian Mountain in the southwest. To the east of Philippi is the Orbelus Range. The mountains in the area are filled with gold and silver mines, which is the reason of disputes between the Thracians and the invaders from Thasos. In 356 BC, the Greek asked the Macedonian King Philip II to help them fight the Thracian tribes. With the foresight and understanding of the city's strategic location, as well as the craving of the city's dazzling gold and silver mines, King Philip II quickly jumped in to resolve the conflict. And in the process of helping, the king gained control of the entire city, expanding and reinforcing the wall before renaming the city after his name. It was also the port of Neapolis of Macedonia, now the port of Kravala, that St. Paul first set foot in the Balkan country. 4. Xinangjia Forestry District, China Xinangjia Forestry District is one of the UNESCO heritage sites in 2016. This is the largest primary forest in central China, located in Hubei province. The primary forest is home to countless rare animals such as the golden monkeys, snub-nosed monkeys, giant salamanders, Asian black bears, clouded leopards, and etc. It is also an important area to carry out important research on plants. This place is famous for its dense foggy valleys that cover all four seasons, and the spectacular scenery makes tourists feel like they are lost in a fairyland in the middle of the real life. Xingnangjia Forestry District has a very long cultural history and the origin of the name is taken from the word Shennong. This is the birthplace of China's agricultural civilization. The forest has a total area of 500,000 ha, of which one half is covered by dense forest. Because it is located at the border between the tropics and the warm temperate zone, with a stable climate, the plant species are extremely diverse. However, the worrying thing is that the climate in this forest makes the animals with white fur or white body make this land mysterious in the eyes of the people. 5. Antigua Naval Dockyard, Antigua Island and Barbuda Island. There are many naval buildings and other important structures in an enclosed area on the islands of Antigua and Barbuda. The British Navy used this place to protect sugarcane plantation during the European country's struggle for control of the Eastern Caribbean. These buildings have architectural features similar to those of King George in England from 1714 to 1813 to 1830. The UNESCO World Heritage Committee included the Antigua Naval Dockyard on the list of World Heritage Sites in the last July. In 1707, this is where the British Navy used to anchor ships with the names English Harbor and was invested in construction. The work was completed in 1725, not only serving as an anchor for ships but also a military outpost, providing the needs of protecting sugarcane farms, serving commercial and industrial development of the British Empire at a time when European powers completed for control of the Eastern Caribbean. In 1728, there was construction of the ship repairs and maintenance facilities including storage facilities for maintenance and service facilities. Modern ship repair and maintenance facilities began to be built into the 70s 40s, along with larger scale service facilities including checkpoints, offices, houses, church, shops, and hospitals. The works built here are mainly in the Georgian style, architecture and historical context in the period 1714 to 1830 in England. The builders were mainly African slaves from the plantations from the nearby outpost. Today, the area continues to be the site of repair, shipbuilding, and boat building and is also a historic site, described as the only remaining Georgian shipyard in the world. The surrounding area is now a national park. 6. Antiquera, Spain Antiquera is a city and municipality in the Malaga province, north side of Spain. The Antiquera, including Vieira, Menga domains located just outside the town and El Romero domains a few kilometers away, which is famous for its unstable limestone rocks, which forms one of the most important karst landscapes in Europe. These three domains differ, differ in age and structural design, but they all represent the largest and most megalithic structure in Europe. 
The Antiquera is recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site as an outstanding example of megalithic architecture in the world, and is one of the works of extreme importance to the archaeology of Europe. The dolmens were probably built by farmers who lived in the Golda Horse Valley during the Neolithic and Bronze Ages from 5000 to 200,000 BC. Several Neolithic cave settlements exist in El Torco and Sierra de Molina. It can be affirmed that the process of transporting large blocks of stone to the construction process takes a lot of effort to people here. The Menga and Vieira dolmens were probably built between 3500 and 3000 BC, while El Romero was built later, around 2500 BC, and all three structures are in well-preserved conditions. 7. Gorham's Cave, British Gorham's Cave is a sea-level cave in the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. Though not a sea cave, it is often mistaken for one. Considered to be one of the last known habitats of the Neanderthals in Europe, the cave gives its name to the Gorham's Cave Complex, which is a combination of four distinct caves of such importance that they are combined into a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the only one in Gilbochar. The three other caves are Van Carr Cave, Hyanna Cave, and Bennett's Cave. When first inhabited some 55,000 years ago, it would have been approximately 5 kilometers from the shore, but due to changes in the sea level, it is now only a few meters from the Mediterranean Sea. The cave is named after Captain A. Gorham of the 2nd Battalion Royal Munster Fossilers, who discovered it in 1907 while opening a fissure at the rear of a sea cavern. Gorham inscribed his name and the date of his discovery in lamp black on the wall of the cave, which has borne his name ever since. After this initial discovery, it seems the cave was forgotten. After that, there was a Gibraltarian historian recalls an inscription on the cave wall that read J.J. J. Davies, 1943. Gorham's Cave is a sea cave which is formed in Jurassic limestone. The total length of this cave is approximately 100 meters and at the entrance it is approximately 35 meters high. Further inside the cave becomes narrow and turns per approximately 90 degrees. From the entrance of the cave it opens a view on the Alborin Sea. It is possible that during further research the cave will become longer. 8. Le Corbusier Architectures Architect Le Corbusier is the creator of unique architectural works in many countries around the world, such as Argentina, Belgium, France, Germany, Japan, India, and Switzerland. He is considered the father of innovation. One of the unique works of his life is the Notre Dame des Hautes Church, which is asymmetrical design and curved concrete roof in France. The architectural works of Le Corbusier were recognized by UNESCO in 2016, including the Crucitet House in Argentina the National Museum of Western Art, Tokyo. These two villas are located in Paris, France. Villa La Roc was designed by architectural Le Corbusier in the shape of an L, partly connected to the rectangular Genonart Villa. Both villas combined together to form a unified block with creative architecture. Villa La Roc in Genonart was built from 1923 to 1925, two to three floors high. Both are considered outstanding symbols of modern French architecture. Two villas as a modern 3D cube artwork. There are many fancy and unique details in the design such as wall holes, ramps, corridors, and balconies. Resonating with the impact of natural light creates a beautiful space both inside and outside. Contrary to the dominant white color of the exterior, the interior is decorated with multicolors, reviewed by experts as a great color painting. Today, these two works of Le Corbusier became the display of his own art collection. This place contains about 8,000 sketches, architectural designs, 200 works drawn on paper, and 450 paintings and other materials. 9. Mistaken Point Ecological Reserve Canada's Mistaken Point Ecological Reserve has been a familiar destination for many visitors. This place is an ideal destination to explore nature, see and learn about birds. Mistaken Point Conversation Area is located on the southeastern edge of the island of Newfoundland with up to 180 species of residents and living birds, notably the albatross. At the same time, this is also home to a variety of fossils dating back to more than 560 million years ago, and is home to the oldest ocean fossils in the world. That is the reason for Mistaken Point to become a World Heritage Site recognized by UNESCO in 2016. The Den people, sometimes called Slavies, have been using the lands around the Nahandi National Park Reserve for thousands of years. Human settlement in this area is estimated 9,000 to 10,000 years ago. Evidence of prehistoric human have been found at Lake Yohin and several other sites in the National Park. The local oral history contains many references to the Naha tribe, a group of mountain people who once attacked settlements in the lowlands. These people are said to have disappeared quickly and mysteriously. 
European fur traders spread to the area in the 18th century and was multiplied when Alexander Mackenzie explored the Mackenzie River and built trading posts at Fort Simpson and Fort Liard. John McLeod, a Scottish explorer and Mackenzie, both work here. 10. Zhujiang Hashan Rock Art China's Zhujiang Rock Art site is one of the most unique UNESCO, UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 2016. Zhujiang Rock Art consists of cliff paintings located in the southwestern border area near the city of Nanning, China, and are painted by the Luye people from 5th century BC to the 2nd century AD. These paintings show the life activities and beliefs of the Luye people, considered as evidence of a rare surviving ancient culture. There are 38 unique rock art zones with precious cultural values in this Zhujiang rock art complex. The drawings are believed to be 1,800 to 2,500 years old or 1,600 to 2,400 years old. The period of painting is probably from the Warring States period of the end of the Han Dynasty in Chinese history. The drawings are said to be the artworks of the ancient Lac Viet people, the ancestors of the present-day Zhuang people. Carbon dating shows that the oldest painting was painted 16,000 years ago. While the latest one is 690 years old, the main cliffs on the mountain, 170 meters wide and 40 meters high, are said to be the largest rock paintings in China. The painting is located at an altitude of 30 to 90 meters above river level, with above 1,900 images arranged in 110 group of images. The materials used for drawing are red ochre with animal glue and blood to form the characteristic red color of the drawings. Depictions include bronze drums, knives, swords, bells, and boats. Some images of people are 60 centimeters tall, 150 centimeters even have pictures reaching 3 meters. 11. Nan Madol Nan Madol is an archaeological site located to the east of Phnom Penh Island in the western Pacific Ocean. It was the capital of Sodular Dynasty, Sodular Dynasty until about 1628. Nan Madol is located in Mandalinal Mune District, Phnom Penh State, Federated States of Micronesia. The core of this city is a stone wall surrounding an area of 1.5 kilometers long and 0.5 kilometers wide. Inside, there are nearly 100 man-made islands, rocks, and coral reefs which are connected by tidal channels. The name Nan Madal means within the intervals and is a reference to the canals that crisscross the ruins. Its original name was Sun Nan Lang, Heaven's Reef, as mentioned by Jen Ashby in his books Pompeii and Island Argosy. The ruined city of Nan Madal is one of today's greatest archaeological mysteries, sometimes referred to as Atlantis, Eighth Wonder of the World, or Venice of the, Be or Venice of the Pacific. Nan Madal was a ceremonial and political temple of the Sodular dynasty, dynasty, which united Pompeii's estimated population of 25,000 people until about 1628. Located between Pompeii and Temwen, and Temwen Islands, there is human activity from the 1st or 2nd century AD. In the 8th or 9th century, the construction of the city began with the construction of a very special monolithic structure in 1180 to 1200. There is a little verifiable information about the construction process. The Pompeii natives claim that the builders of the Lelut archaeological site on the island of Corsay came to Pompeii to use their skills and experience building up the much more impressive Nan Madal complex. But carbon dating has shown that Nan Madal predates Lela and is more likely that Nan Madal influenced Lela. These are World Heritage Sites recognized by UNESCO, considered the most impressive ones. Which UNESCO heritage do you think is the most unique? Let's share with Tokibook Top 10 Amazing.